I'm Ryan, and today we'll be talking about organizing an iPhoto beyond the events. As I said in the events cleanup video, events are your first line of defense when it comes to cleaning up a messy library. But let's look at another option of organizing photos, and that's going to be using albums and smart albums folders. So the first and most simple is new album. But before I click on that, let me give you a scenario. Here I have 66 photos from Melinda and Greg's wedding. And I want to separate out my very favorite ones because maybe I want to email them or I want to use them to print later or, you know, anything. So I'm going to go and choose the ones that I like. Um, so I'm going to double click that event. And in here, I'm going to go through and just kind of start clicking on some really good ones. Uh, let's just say in this in this first two rows. Um, first, I'm going to zoom in at the bottom left so I can get a better look. Let's go to the very top. Okay, so let's see. I really like this one. Then I'm going to hold the command key, click this one and this one and this one. Uh, let's see. It's a good shot there. And a pretty good shot there. Um, okay, so that's a start. I, there's still more to grab, but I, I have six photos selected. It shows me up at the top right. And now I'm going to make a new album with those. So I'm going to go up to File and hit New Album. And then notice down here on the left, we see the new album and it says Untitled Album. Now a quick note, when you, when you create the new album, it's highlighted in light blue right away because they're expecting you to name it right away. So that means you don't have to come over here and click. In fact, that actually makes things a little bit more difficult. So I'm just going to leave it light blue and type in uh, best of wedding. And uh, you can hit the enter key or return or click elsewhere. I'm just going to hit return. Okay, so so far we have six photos. Now I want to show you what would happen real quick if I would have just hit new album without choosing the best ones. So here I have that, that same 66 photos and I'm just going to go up to new album. So what happened was, here's the new untitled album, it just put all 66 in there, so it's almost a duplicate of the event, which really isn't very useful. So as a precaution, choose at least one photo that you know is going to be in the album before you hit new album. So to delete this album, it's, it's highlighted in blue already, and I'm just going to leave it highlighted in blue and hit delete. And it says, are you sure you want to delete the album? So it kind of reminds you right here, the photos in the album will still be visible in your photo library. So that means up here under events or photos, they'll still be there. So great, delete. And they're also still in this album. So now let's say I wanted to add some more into this album. I'm gonna go back to my events, double click on Melinda and Greg's wedding, and I'm gonna scroll down through and choose some more. So let's just say this one, I'm gonna hold the command key. That one, that one, yeah, that's great, that'll work. So now that you have some, you can click and hold and drag it up to our new album. So I'm going to click and hold it. And notice at the bottom right of my little little tile I'm dragging, it says 18. That's how I know I grabbed a bunch of them. And I'm just going to drop it onto that album. Now the important thing is if I drop it right here, it's not going to go in there. If I drop it right here, it's not going to go in there. You want the arrow itself to be over the name of the album. And you can kind of see it faintly turns light blue. So I'm going to let go. And now if I go in there it has a total of 24. So let's say these are the best of the wedding. I'm done. Now I can use this this whole album as a basis for maybe, uh, I don't know, a uh, book or a card or a calendar, a slideshow. Um, you know, sky's the limit, but I just separated them out from the main event. So the next, th the next way of doing it would be a smart album. So let's say in Melinda and Greg's wedding, I wanted to separate out the best ones, but I wanted it to do it a little bit more automatically. So I'm going to do I for info at the bottom. And I'm going to go up to choose one of these photos. I'm going to just click, it's a five star photo. And this one, sure, it's five stars. If you go through rating your photos, you know, maybe right after you import them or, you know, just kind of routinely and picking your favorites and making them five stars, then later we can make what's called a smart album that automatically grabs any photo that's five stars. I guess the major advantage to this is it's easy to add them later. Um, and also you don't have to worry about holding the command key while you're clicking them 
And so I'm just going to choose a couple more and then I'm, I'm just clicking them and then going up and making them five stars. So I'm going to highlight that one, five stars. Okay. So now I'm going to make a, I'm going to go to file and make a new smart album. So the smart album name, I'm going to call this the, uh, this one's going to be named slightly differently, top rated wedding photos. Okay. The smart album works with rules. So it's a little bit, it's actually a lot more fancy than just the uh, plain old album over here. So what we have to do is set these rules or they call them conditions, constraints. Uh, they're, you know, they, you can think of them as a filter. So the, the computer is going to go through the iPhoto library and look and see if there's any photos that match the conditions we set. So the first condition, I'm going to say my rating is, and I'm going to say five stars. Okay. So let's just try that. I mean, you know, let's see what happens. I'm going to hit okay. So right here it says top rated wedding photos. And these are definitely wedding photos. And there's only 12 of them. So these must be the top rated ones. And if I click on them, sure enough, this one has five stars, this one has five stars, and so on and so forth. But there's a slight pitfall in the way that we did that. And I wanted to do that on purpose. So if we go back to events, and let's just say I open up um, this mud, mud volleyball event, and I choose a photo, and I'm gonna rate this one five stars. Okay, so now if I go to the top rated wedding photos, ah, oh, what do you know, suddenly that mud volleyball photo is in there. And that's a problem. Um, so we need to modify the constraints. The rule should be not just that it's five stars, because I might have a lot of five star photos in different events. The rule should be that the photo is in Melinda and Greg wedding, and it's five stars. So I clicked on the smart album at the left, and I'm gonna go to file, edit smart album, and so we need to add a second condition that says that the photos can only be in the original wedding event. So I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to change this to event. What we don't want is in the last. That means, you know, we want maybe, oh, the, the most top rated uh, last year's photos. You know, we could do something like that. But I'm going to do contains. And I'm going to type it in as exactly as it's listed in the event library. Melinda and Greg wedding. So now what happens is that mud volleyball photo was eliminated because it didn't meet both of the constraints. So in review, we have the manual album. And if we want to add more photos to that, we can drag to it. The smart album, if we want to add more photos to that, they just have to be in that event with a top rating. Now lastly, we can make a new folder. So I'm going to do that. And here it says untitled folder. And I'm just going to call this uh, wedding. Wedding photos. Okay. So the reason you would have folders is because over time, you're going to develop a lot of albums, and this this area is going to get you know saturated with a long list of them. A great thing to do would be to separate them out by folders, so I could drag best of wedding into there, and my top rated into there. Now, with a folder, you don't just store photos in it; you store albums or smart albums in it. And so now I can hit this little arrow and collapse it, and now it's kind of just a nice clean little area. And so maybe I'll make another folder called let's say vacations in vacations I might have an album with Lake Powell photos Powell shots and I'm gonna put that in there and then I might also have another album with San Francisco photos let's just do that so here's an example of folders I have one folder for wedding photos and if we hit the little disclosure triangle to the left it drops down and it shows the two albums I can collapse it again. And we also have a vacations folder and I can open that one up. And here we have Lake Powell shots and San Fran albums. One final note before we wrap up. If you want to delete photos from an album, so if I go to best of wedding and I click this first flower photo and hit the delete key, it says, are you sure? Yes, that's okay. Because if you get rid of it from the album, it's definitely going to be in the event still. I can see it right there on the cover. 
However, if I delete it from the event, if I click on this photo and delete it, now it's going to be removed from the album. It's nowhere in the album anymore. So be careful. Once you put everything in albums, you can't clear it out of your events because that's your master library. If you want to delete things from a smart album, the only way to get rid of them is if they don't meet the conditions anymore. So I would have to turn down the rating. So if I decided I didn't like this one anymore, I would click on it and maybe give it a rating of one star and it disappears. So that'll be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this session on organizing photos via albums, smart albums, and folders. Thank you and have a good rest of your day.